Hi guys and welcome to this week's video. I'm about to go and film and photograph something quite fantastic. I'm in a place called Clevedon. There is a small, I think, lake or marina over the other side. And for just a couple of days a year when the tide is particularly high, spring tide and a day either side, the water comes over the wall and refills or fills the lake. It's a bit confusing to explain now, but I was here last night and I filmed a bit of the process, but I took lots and lots of pictures. Now I was going to vlog last night, but I couldn't because the sunset was awesome. And this is such an extraordinary thing. There were hundreds and hundreds of people all around us. Now I don't have problems filming in front of people, but when it was that many people and loads of kids swimming and stuff, it makes it quite difficult to film. So I decided to stay over, hence the reason I'm here now, so that I can re-photograph it this morning, which won't be particularly good, because it's a sunset location, but I'll also stop throughout the day to see if I can better the pictures that I took last night that I'm about to show you. Last night's sunset was pretty spectacular. Tonight is meant to be equally as good and the water level is meant to be higher. So before we crack on, I'll show you the images I captured last night that I'm hoping to better tonight, not necessarily this morning, but tonight. Take a look at that behind. How awesome is that? So in 20 minutes time from now, when high tide starts to breach the wall or come over the wall, it's not gonna look anywhere near as dramatic as it did yesterday, which will be a real shame. However, it's not the water going over the wall that I'm here to capture, although it did look really quite special. What I'm after is some of the steps leading into the water and certainly the railings as well. I want those without any pavement in. Now, as you have seen already from the pictures I took yesterday, you could still see the pavement. The tide tonight at sunset is going to be a half a meter higher. So if anything, there's going to be too much water. So I'm gonna to have to make sure I get my timing right, get myself in place, get it right, and then, get out of here as quick as I possibly can. So it's pretty cool, isn't it? It's such a cool place. So this morning shoot is really a rehearsal. It's my last rehearsal to get it right, look for compositions, try and figure out what I want to achieve for later on in the day at sunset. 
So the water at the moment is quite literally eight inches off the wall where I'm currently stood. And no, I'm not gonna be stupid enough to do it when the water comes in. I just thought it looked pretty cool now. Right, so apart from playing around, like boys do, there's nothing else here to see. Like I said earlier, it is a sunset location, but uh, let me very briefly talk you through what I'm looking at and what I'm hoping to play around with tonight. So behind me here, we've got a set of steps. So there's various compositions. Again, what you have to imagine is, if I step back a bit at the moment, all the dry land here will be covered in water because if you look in the background there you've got peat the water's coming up to where peat is now because it's high tide tonight it's going to be half a meter higher so everywhere where i'm currently stood now will be underwater which means now this staircase behind me here is going to be floating in the background there, you've got the railings, just like I photographed last night, but it means it'll be better than last night. There's, um, there's a sign here I thought might, or could potentially be interesting, but it's a really boring sign. Further across, there's another set of steps up there somewhere, and right at the far side, over there somewhere, there's more railings, but they're a little bit more cluttered than they are over here. But I honestly believe with the extra height of the water, it's worthwhile me dossing around all day today. I'm gonna to watch football. Dossing around all day today and hanging around until tonight. And while we're still at high tide and we've got nothing else to do here, we're gonna go for a 10 minute walk across the pier to see if we can grab some more muted long exposure shots from there as well. So hopefully you guys can see potential in this tonight. I don't actually know if I'm gonna better the pictures that I took last night, but fingers crossed, I might. I mean, I'm thinking it's worth my while hanging around for anyway, so hopefully you guys will also. Uh, something else I forgot to mention, there's like a, a small, almost like a child's swimming pool area that's carved out and that's got some nice little walkways. So those little walkways might prove to be interesting as well. In actual fact, while the, the tide is still high, I might go over there and experiment with a few compositions now. Right, I've had a slight change of heart, me being me. Because I remembered and I pointed out the small walkways where I think it's obviously some kind of child's pool over there, I've decided I'm gonna go and experiment with a couple of uh, compositions instead of heading towards the pier. This is pretty cool because this is a staircase that actually leads straight out to sea if you look there. So I think again that would make for a nice composition better when the water comes over the floor where I'm currently stood. So that has potential. What I love about stuff like this is that these lead-in lines or lead-out lines or just sheer patterns are just so conducive with the style of photography that I'm going for or the, certainly the style of photography that I'm into at the moment. So this is why it really pays to uh, play around with compositions and stuff because in the background there, there's some railings and until I came across here and put the camera on my tripod and aimed out there, didn't actually realize it would be as good as it actually was. And the stairs, the steps here are really, really nice. But again, you've got to imagine that picture with the water over the floor, because at the moment I don't like the concrete floor. It spoils it a bit. But I'm loving this, absolutely fantastic. Also from here as well, the pier 
is brilliant because the marina acts as an infinity pool. So I put my 70 to 200 mil lens on, throwing it all the way out there. And again, taking some quite minimalistic shots from here. The light is kicking in really nice from the right hand side. Again, it is a sunset location, not a sunrise location. But having said that, the light is just perfect. Mm -hmm. 